Hello everyone, I'm Dragons After Dark, and today we'll be going over how to get the White Whisker pet in the Azure Span. This pet does require a certain buff in order to see their spawn points, and we will be going over that in the video today. The first thing you're going to want to do is fly to Camp Antonidas. It is the closest flight point aside from Camp Nowhere. The difference is, is I believe Camp Antonidas will have a downward slope which makes the dragon riding a little easier as opposed to Camp Nowhere where you will be flying uphill from there. Then you will be flying down to here, or dragon riding rather, down to here on this corner of the lake. And the NPC you are looking for is Nuptuck. I will be putting the coordinates to Nuptuck in the description of the video. When you get to Nuptuck, you will speak to them. And they say, did you know there are animals that can blend in with the snow? Mama told me to wear these glasses to protect my eyes when I'm outside, but I do it because it helps me spot the snowy friends better. Do you want to try? And then you select the dialogue option. I would like snow glare sunglasses. This gives you the buff wearing snow glare sunglasses. And if you were watching my mini map, you can see that the little paws on my mini map have appeared, which means white whiskers have shown up for me to be able to battle. So as you can see, the further we move away from the camp, there are a few more spawns. I think there's usually four to five over here. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Congratulations, you have received your White Whisker. Now keep in mind when you're doing these wild battles, I always recommend bringing along a pet that has something like Super Bark or Weakening Blows, which will not reduce your opponent's health below 1 HP. As for White Whisker, like I said, we do not know all of their breeds as of yet, so we'll just go over the moves here. So they are classed as a flying pet, but as you can see from the one following me around, they do not fly behind you, they will walk on the ground. At one point in the either alpha or beta, they did start off flying behind you, but just like the flying squirrels, they are now grounded. Looking at the speed of my particular 25 rare white whisker, it's at 285. The problem I can foresee with this, if there aren't multiple breeds, which I'm assuming there will be, but maybe not, is that its two slot one abilities are beneficial from being faster. So once you lose your flying racial speed buff, these first two slot abilities, if you're not naturally faster with your base speed stat, could become useless. So just right up front, this might be a very situationally beneficial pet. The one thing that it might be useful for is you can see here in slot 2 that they have Call Blizzard. I believe this is the only flying pet with this ability. It is. And one of the things you might possibly be able to do here if you have to do a mechanical family battle is you can use Call Blizzard to finish them off and then I believe mechanical pets resurrect at less than 25% health. Let's check their racial really quick. Yep, so they return to life at 20% health, so... A lot, not all of them, but quite a few mechanical pets are very slow. So 
even though the base speed stat is at 285, if you're up against a mechanical that isn't doing magical damage or the family fight, you could use Call Blizzard to finish them off or hit them, maybe do some alpha strikes and flurries, hit them again, and then once they resurrect, Predatory Strike should be able to take care of any any pet that's resurrected i don't i don't think we have any i don't think we have any mechanical pets that are going to be more than double 469 hp on their 20 percent resurrection so that can be situationally handy against mechanical pets in particular and then we have liftoff which is always a decent avoidance ability and maybe if you're going against aquatic pets, you can slot these abilities first. So Alpha Strike, Fly By for the 25% damage taken debuff, and Predatory Strike and Lift Off. Or maybe you're looking at some Undead and you can combine Flurry and Fly By and Lift Off maybe in their Undead round so that you start the next round being in the air and you can hit them. As for the aesthetics, I really enjoy the flying foxes. I think they're adorable. I do wish that they would fly along behind us, especially the Sliverns, because when you think about it, they do have bat-like wings. I can understand the flying squirrels being grounded because flying squirrels are more like sugar gliders. They don't really fly. They're really only going to glide. So them walking behind you makes sense. However, the Sliverns are a lot like our our Wyverns. And I, I don't know. I could see them flying behind us instead of just walking on the ground. But that's, that's just my personal opinion on the matter. But what about you? Do you enjoy these Sliverns models? Is the white one your favorite? We do have a few colors that you can get them in. So we've got the white one, we've got the black one, and then we have Yipper, which is the orange one. There might be some more, but those are the three I can think of off the top of my head. Let me know your opinions in the comments below. But that's going to be it for me today. If you have any pet related content you'd like to see me do a video of, you can also post that in the comments below. But until next time, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day or night depending on where you are in the world. And until next time everyone, happy battling!